Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zard of Chess channel and welcome to a spectacular game of the TCEC season 23 bonus competition. We have here Stockfish 15 against another top engine Eagle in a beautiful modern defense game and the cool part about this game is that Stockfish will dismantle, really destroy this modern defense in only 26 moves and this is really wild when you think about it harder. There are not so many games in this top engine level in which uh, an engine loses in such an early stage of the game. This is really wild what Stockfish is doing and the we have to agree i think the modern defense is maybe not the best opening that you can play but i think it's playable magnus carlson for instance is playing this opening very very often in his rapid games he has also good success uh, i would not recommend you of course to play the modern defense but i think it has some methods it has some ideas how to uh, play aggressively on the queen side so in my opinion still a playable line but what stockfish is doing to this opening is really really mortal be prepared this was again chess from another dimension so let's check out now the game stock Stockfish opened here with the move e4 and uh, here the eagle engine responded uh, with the move g6 which is now of course the modern defense and also what the cool part about this game is that actually that was the last prearranged move by the organizer. There are many games that we have analyzed now so far in which the organizer are uh, pre-arranging at least 6, six 7, sometimes even 15 moves uh, in the opening stage. Now as I said the move g6 was the last pre-arranged move by the organizer from this point on the engines are calculating this position for themselves so in the continuation stockfish plays immediately d4 grab the center of course like you're supposed to do against this defensive setup of black so in the continuation bishop to g7 knight to c3 we have now the move d6 and stockfish is playing now the move bishop to e3 maybe even announcing the so-called 150 attack with ideas to go queen to d2 h4 h5 uh playing this aggressive flank attack against the fianchetto which is in my opinion also one of the best methods to beat the more Order or perch defense so in the continuation we have now the move c6 and the move c6 is actually uh one of the best methods i think for black black can play the move c6 or can play the move a6 with the same idea a6 is in my opinion also a similar idea you're announcing this flank attack on the queen side with the move b5 then eventually you want to play the move c5 or similar stuff but the cool part about this setup of blacks is that actually you are attacking already the queen side because many times in these types of structures of course white is castling queen side uh black is castling king side and then of course with the move c6 b5 you already want to be there you already want to attack your opponents if, if uh, king's uh, queen side castling position so after move bishop to e3 as we said c6 but now stockfish changes the, the direction of the attack i think a little bit stockfish plays now a similar idea like in the austrian attack if you're familiar with the austrian attack against the, the perch defense announcing now a central breakthrough with the move e5 so in the continuation now knight to f6 with the preparation of course to attack the bishop on g4 so that's why h3 and now kingside castling here played by stockfish 15 so uh by eagle pardon me here stockfish response was knight to f3 and now knight from b to d7 and from this point on, I think there is only one good move here for white. White needs to play now the move e5. You have to use now your spaces in the center of the board. If you play maybe a, a weird move, let's see just maybe one slightly passive move here for white. Then with the move e5 by black, black and I think can liberate now the position and uh, equalize the game in an early stage of the game. So that's why you have to be careful when you are playing this kind of an, a structure with the f4, e4 and d4. With the move e5, black has, I think, here good chances because even if you take f takes e5, look at this, d takes e5, now you can maybe take d takes e5, but look at this, with knight to h5, suddenly uh, black should be better here, I think, with ideas of knight to g3, we will eventually grab also the pawn on e5, so in my opinion, this is something that you should not allow here from white's perspective, so that's why, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, e5 was played by stockfish immediately hitting the center and provoking now some reactions by black so in the continuation we have now knight to d5 knight takes d5 c takes d5 and now bishop to d3 of course uh, getting the bishop on the most active uh, square here where it's of course controlling both of these beautiful diagonals so now queen to b6 of course hitting the pawn on b2 queen to c1 by stockfish 15 protecting now the pawn on b2 and now after d takes e5 we have d takes e5 the bishop is now liberated 
liberated it attacks also the queen and now we have knight to c5 here by the the eagle engine so we have now kingside casting we have now knight takes d3 it, it comes of course also with the direct threat against the queen so yeah, that's why you have to react now c takes d3 and now after move queen to b5 here eagle is simply attacking the pawn on d3 and stockfish of course has to protect it by playing the move queen to d2 and okay let's stop and evaluate the position a little bit it seems so that actually eagle got out of this mess in a beautiful way uh, uh black has the bishop pair black has i think a solid uh, king but it's not endangered so far but what stockfish has prepared here is really a wild attacking idea it seems also strange that the pawn is here on d3 but stockfish is keeping the d4 liberated is trying now to get the bishop on d4 and is trying to create here some really some madness with the move g4 f5 e6 but now with the move bishop to d4 we're trying to get rid of the key defender of black which is now of course the bishop on g7 and now stockfish is simply letting this position explode on the king side really really uh, an instructive game i think it is because many of us would not know what to do here from this point on. Maybe we are trying knight to d4, bishop to d4, maybe we're trying to occupy the c file. So there are many ideas, but I think many of us would maybe miss even the clear idea, and Stoffer shows us now how to really, really make progress from this point on. So in the continuation, we have now bishop to f5. Nothing spectacular. This can be protected, of course, by the move rook to d1. The d3 pawn is uh, so far solid. So in the continuation, rook from a to c8, uh, eagle occupies, of course, like you're supposed to do, uh, the only open file but you see now how stockfish is simply leaving everything here on the queen side stockfish is not battling for the queen side stockfish is saying here i have my plan here on the king side which is now the most important thing you have your fun on the c file but, but actually nothing is going on on the c file that's now the most important thing here to know so now stockfish continues with the plan as we said bishop to d4 g4 f5 e6 trading off the bishops and then maybe try some kind of an attack on the g file so we have now queen to a4 it's a desperate try i think here by eagle eagle attacks the pawn but it doesn't matter stockfish again, again ignores the threat uh king to h1 was the last move now by stockfish and now let's see what happens if you for instance take queen takes a2 this is not so good because uh, you get this one g4 this wasn't played in the game but i wanted to show you what the actual threat is here for for black after move g4 you have to step back look at this we're getting through with the move f5 for instance if you play g takes f5 then you have even this opportunity e6 is a beautiful stunning tactic let's see now what happens if you play bishop to e6 look at this um g takes f5 bishop to f5 now we hit the bishop here bishop to g7 key to g7 and now comes the stunning move that's actually winning knight to d4 and it seems so that nothing spectacular again it's going on because uh, uh, it's only attacking the bishop but now when the bishop retreats here to g6 then you have this one a rook to a1 is actually trapping the queen the queen doesn't have any more good square so this was the beautiful and brutal here the tactical preparation here by stockfish so let's go back so as a instead of this move um bishop to e6 you could go of course f takes e6 if you don't want to expose of course your bishop here on this square but it's not getting better here because again this idea rook to a1 will happen now you can step back with the queen but look at this g takes f5 e takes f5 the rook is coming now into the game on the g file that's now the actual threat now the bishop cannot come here on g6 in the previous scenario we have seen bishop to g6 at least lock the g file now this is even not a possibility you have to maybe play something like rook to f7 but now with queen to h6 there's simply too much pressure now around this bishop on g7 and this is in my opinion game over here for for black so see uh, this is now the actual threat so you don't have time to take out the pawn on a2 um you would love of course to take out one pawn and maybe go into a favorable end game but stockfish calculated this position in a beautiful way you see g4 f5 e6 is now the serious threat in order to liberate the long diagonal for the dark Sword bishop which is, as i said is the key defender in front of black's king so now um eagle tried a6 we have now queen to e3 and now eagle took but it, it's the same idea nothing nothing better with the move a6 i don't think that eagle improved the position at all that's why stockfish launches again immediately this beautiful attacking idea g4 the bishop has to step back we have now f5 again with the same idea e6 and trading of the bishops now eagle tried f6 instead of of course g takes f5 uh, f6 but now after uh, f takes g6 we have now h takes g6 and now after move knight to h4 the game is 
almost over here we have to say it we're now in move 23 and the evolution is already plus four which is really really wild when you think about the horror i'm not sure how many of us have seen this top engines getting destroyed in such an early state of the game look at this after move knight to h4 what you can do is of course maybe to get somehow the rook into the game here on c6 maybe you can defend this position like this but now as we said you lose simply the pawn the rook is saying this is not the way to go so that's why in the continuation here eagle tried bishop to e8 tried now to defend the pawn on g6 but it's not getting better as we said look at this e takes f6 now after move e takes f6 now comes a beautiful move a g5 liberating again the long diagonal for the dark bishop we're trying just to get rid of the key defender of the bishop on g7 now oh, now after move f5 and bishop to g7 we're now in move 26 and actually this is almost game over i think we can agree this is already a plus six evaluation here for black because black cannot take out the bishop on g7 black cannot play the move king to g7 this wasn't the continuation by eagle eagle tried here to move d4 which was also a desperate try but let's see now what happens if you play king to g7 if you play king to g7 and both of these engines calculated now this position really really beautiful way now rook to f5 is going to happen and this was this would be a monstrous continuation if eagle would uh take out the, the bishop on g7 look what happens after rook to f5 we have here knight to f5 g takes f5 now the queen comes into the game with a check you have only some squares uh, no good squares are here wherever you go uh, even if you try here to f8 you get the same idea queen to f5 and the rook is hanging so if you go here to h7 now you get this one queen to f5 hitting the king and the rook but that's not the plan even if you cover yourself now with the move bishop to g6 we don't want to take out the rook we're trying first to check now when the king is on the eighth rank now we take out the rook and now for instance if you uh, try to hide with your king like this with the move king to g7 then we play queen to d7 you can of course cover with the bishop but now with the move g6 you have to take out now with the king of course uh, now the rook is coming to uh, into the game with rook to g1 and this is game over so you're getting destroyed by by this heavy artillery so you see you don't have time after move bishop to g7 you cannot take the bishop and that's why eagle tried here a different idea bishop to d4 we have now bishop to d4 here eagle tried to check king to uh, king to g1 we have bishop to c6 but now after move queen to e5 the game was basically over because eagle has one check maybe you can try queen to h1 uh, delivering a check but now actually after uh, look at this after move uh, king to f2 you don't have any more checks uh you can just maybe play queen to g2 if, just in order to prolong the game but in the next couple of moves you're getting checkmate on g7 because the knight on h4 is of course controlling the g2 score really really important defensive piece here this uh, knight on the edge of the board so in the continuation <coughs> after move queen to e5 we have queen takes e5 bishop to e5 and as we said from this point on i think it's game over uh white is up a whole piece has now uh, solid king uh, the king is not endangered the rooks are very active uh, we have here this backward pawn which or this isolated pawn pardon me that will improve uh, will be improved here with the move d4 uh, the pawn on g6 is weak so it's simply already a lost game here for for black so this was it uh, really mortal game here by stockfish 15 let's see now a little bit uh, still the continuation because by the rules of the tcec competition they had to play this game till till checkmate but in my opinion is it was simply a position that you can resign here d4 was played by the fish we have here bishop to e4 uh, rook to uh, rook to e1 threatening of course rook takes e4 because you couldn't take uh, f takes e4 is not an opportunity because of the activity of the rook on the f file bishop to d5 now stockfish simply reroutes the knight on a better square rook to f2 we have rook to e7 and now h4 simply pushing now the pawn further rook to c2 attacking the bishop the bishop has to now go to d5 now check a couple of trades of pieces there are this other place is coming into the game and now of course knight to g6 simply grabbing this important pawn here so in the continuation we have now f4 knight to f4 so it was simply easy now for stockfish to play the game a couple of checks nothing spectacular stockfish pushed the pawn further and after move knight to g6 uh, the game is really really over nothing uh, can be done anymore knight to f4 stockfish gets the rook into the game bishop to f4 bishop to g6 now stockfish gets the king to towards the um um 
uh, towards the, the, the edge of the board and now with the move bishop to g5 it was also a beautiful beautiful checkmate so incredible stunning stunning tactical idea incredible attack let's go back um after moves here c takes d3 now Stockfish prepared this idea bishop to d4 and then g4 f5 e6 getting rid of the dark for bishop getting some heavy artillery into the game getting the rooks on the g file getting the queen into the attack you saw uh here the eagle engine tried to grab the pawn but this was simply not working uh g4 came in and f5 it was a devastating and brutal attack here by the fish so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas in the modern defense for sure i'm sorry about my voice a little bit uh, uh, if you have followed the world cup uh, and if you know i'm from croatia and, and we won the game against brazil so my voice is really killing me we were yelling here in croatia uh, in the penalty shootout so i'm a little bit sorry about that but i'm really glad that we made it through maybe we can even win the game against argentina who knows uh, messi is of course the favorite but we have also i think good chances maybe to reach the final again in the world cup so okay as i said if you like uh, this game please uh, also also, you can also of course just subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more uh, of this beautiful top engine game here's also the link of our playlist and what to say chess is the best of course